Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Okay, so we are going to be testing out the Ollie Land Lock M1. I just ordered this mic, it was available on discount um, for around 10 grand or so. But then by the time I went around to ordering it, it the price had gone up to around 11. So, anyhow, uh, so I'm going to be testing out this mic right now. I've not yet plugged it into anything. I'm going to try and see how does it work also with. Um, my action camera while plugged into the helmet so does it work for a motor vlogging we got to see anyhow so in the box you get it like this right and what do we have in it well we open karna thoda mushkil but we will try okay i'll do this okay so i managed to unzip it with two hands you get it actually it comes inside this little bit of a wrap thingy but it comes like this and when you open it the lights come on if it's charged fully and you will have two transmitters one receiver okay so that's there what else do we have This is the dead cat. I mean, it's not a dead cat, but it's a dead cat. You get what I'm saying, right? Bit fidgety when you're trying to do things with one hand. Ah, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so here we have this is basically the uh, wind protector thingy. Okay, so it's made to sit on the receivers. So that's not how it looks. So there are two for both the receivers. Um, then you get on this side, you get a whole bunch of stuff. So what do we get? There is a TRS to so this is the lock M1 so you you get it with a TRS to USB-C I'm not yet removed it from the packet I'll remove it later on TRS to USB-C then you got a TRS to TRS patch cable patch cable you got a TRS to TRRS okay, TRS to TRRS what is TRRS tip and ring ring sleeve sleeve is all the way, all the way at the bottom so tip ring and then sleeve TRS so, so TRRS so where do we use a TRRS uh, cable where your phone has a 3.5 mm port and you usually connect your earphones or headphones that's where the TRRS will sit otherwise for all cameras you use a TRS okay so this doesn't basically support a mic necessarily this one will have left right and mic that's the idea and this one doesn't have mic support or, or rather it is only good for a mic it won't be mic and uh, left right earphones something like that okay. uh, and then what else we have a USB A to USB C type cable and then some Hollyland cable okay cool so um, we will test it out I will remove all of these plasticky thingies plastic protectors okay so when you remove it it's on it's got protectors and it has got a USB-C port over there 
those two dots that you're seeing they are for charging it and if you look inside you, know, you have the charging poles so when it's inside it will charge and these are magnetically connected okay. when you remove the receiver it will be blinking meaning it has to connect you remove a transmitter comes on it will connect to one so you see it's like steady over here that means it is connected whereas one is the other one is still to be connected here we remove the second transmitter and there okay so by default when you remove it apparently the volume is set at medium there are only three volume volume levels there is uh, medium high and low okay so this is for max and this is for uh, I mean to increase the volume if you press it once it's gone to maximum you press it once and a second time and now it's come to minimum okay so the default if you put it into the case you close it and you open it and you take it out then the default ends up being set at medium um, so stuff I've seen online read online is you may want to set the volume level at low uh, if you want to remove any noise by default I'm gonna try that out and see how does that fare especially I'm curious about using it in the helmet okay so setting the volume level low but besides that it has also got a noise cancellation button this yellow thing the moment I press it light go green okay so the light has gone green on both of these transmitters now I don't know whether that is really something that I would have wanted or not but it's okay right uh, maybe I wanted the noise cancellation on one and not on the other but really it's a matter of testing it out so we'll see how it goes and then finally um, you apparently have a mode button I'm trying to figure out which one it is maybe this one um, you have to press down the mode button for five seconds where it will change I don't know has it been five seconds I don't know how to figure this out it's supposed to change the audio capturing into mono or stereo I'm not sure which one is the mode button whether it's this one or whether it's this one so press and hold it down it sound right boy one two three four five ha ah, this one so basically now it's gone into stereo mode meaning that one will be left channel the other will be the right channel or something along those lines um it'll be interesting to see how that goes yeah it's back right and then we've got a power switch to put these things off and that's off both of these are disconnected do you have power switches yes you do press and hold so you don't want to drain out the battery just by keeping it on all the time off okay so that's done now besides that you also have a 3.5 out over here on the receiver so this is mainly how it connects on to any other device right this is for charging this usb port i'm not sure if you have audio via usb um, but that usb port is for charging then this out will go um, to your camera from here using the trs or the trs to trrs cables Alright, so we'll test this out and then we'll see how does it sound. See you later. Alright, we're on now. Uh, so we have got the ENC activated. Now we'll test it out. Oh, we lost traction just as we started. Like skid on that. Apple patch. That's big. 
the amount of wind that's blasting at me all over. It'll be really interesting to see whether I am uh, whether what I'm saying is intelligible, whether it is making sense, whether you can understand the words. Right now, though, uh, I am riding behind this truck. Do we have a chance? Let's try it. Okay, mic test, mic test, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so, so far in my testing that I was doing with the mic, I think it's able to handle, it's like any of the other mics basically, um, meaning that, you know, when it is very, very windy or very noisy, it starts to crack up, when it isn't, to get decent audio. Okay, I think it's starting to drizzle a bit. There's water coming on me. Initially, I'm thinking it is because I washed the bike, you know, that there is. Okay, so uh, what's the final final verdict? The Lark M1. Interesting little unit, comes in a great package. Um, does it do the job for motor vlogging that I have to open here? Does it do the job for motor vlogging? Well, if you're on a motorcycle and you're connecting the this little mic in the helmet what I noticed is there's a lot of wind you really have to figure out a way to cut out the amount of wind that is blowing on the mic um, this thing does not really have while while you have like a dead cat on it uh, you can easily put this dead cat and it does a okay job of cutting out the wind right now I'm not using it and I think I should um, Actually, I'll try that out, right? Let's see. Oh, I'll find out how much of a difference does that make, at least to this fan blowing over here, right above my head. Um, yeah, so while you're riding, there's a lot of wind that's coming and this, uh, I generally have it on the chin skirt, which is there over here. So there's still a lot of wind that's hitting it. Uh, and that unfortunately ruins the overall audio uh, that's coming through. So, uh, is it good for motor vlogging? Well, if you're on a motorcycle, no. I have some other ideas and I want to test it out once more, but at least in my initial test, my initial impressions tell me no. The ENC as well does not do that great a job. I mean, it cuts out the bass frequency, so all you're left is with a very tinny, uh, sort of uh, audio tone and there again you will hear it cutting out a bit that's generally where the audio is clipping there should have been a way to reduce the gain levels to uh, you know like a minus 10 db or something like that this according to what i've heard it reduces it down to minus 6 or something of that sort may not even be minus 6 okay there are only three gain stages on on this uh, wireless mic 
uh, which is by default it's set on medium and then you have low and one high okay so we've set it on low um, but that was still not working right so my final thoughts if you wanted to use it in a setup where you're talking to a camera or you're walking around and talking to a camera or you're riding a cycle or you're in a car and you're trying to use it or you're riding a motorcycle but your speeds are uh, around 40 or below and you don't have a lot of breeze coming then it'll work if you're able to put it in an area while you're riding where there is no wind that's really hitting it it will work but otherwise in those in any other concept where there is in any other context where there's a lot of breeze it's not going to do the job okay so it's a great mic just not what i was really looking for okay uh, anyways those are my thoughts i like it and i'll probably continue using it for maybe this sort of stuff i i have a few other ideas i'll test that out as well so if something clicks i will definitely definitely go ahead and share that with all of you Okay, till then, um, thank you so much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and stay blessed. This is Godfrey Gomez from the Jeff Gordon Wheels channel. Thank you. Peace. <laughs> yeah, so um, the LAC M1 is not made for motor vlogging, and so it will not work. And so it will not work. I still have another idea for this thing in the motor vlogging context. <laughs> so I'll try that out and see how it goes. I don't know if you are able to hear her voice considering that she is also pretty close to the mic. Uh, I am assuming that that's also being captured. I keep, you know, looking at the monitoring screen. Her voice is clearly being captured, it seems. So I keep looking at the monitoring screen.